Good evening, everyone, and welcome to LSU Online's virtual open house. We're so happy that you've joined us tonight. My name is Brittany Randall. I am the recruitment manager for our Baton Rouge campus. Our panelists will introduce themselves shortly, and we will cover lots of information, but we will make sure that we leave enough time for you to ask questions as well. But one important detail to share before we get started, when you are asking questions, please make sure to specify what campus and program you are referring to, because we have some overlap between campuses and we want to make sure we are providing accurate information to your specific questions. So once again, thank you for joining us, and it is an honor and pleasure to help you get started on your journey with LSU Online. So now our panelists will introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Scarlett Hackney. I work with our graduate and undergraduate business programs at the main campus. I'm Jennifer Christina, and I am an enrollment coach for the graduate programs on the main campus. Hi, I'm Remy Fontenot. I'm a student success coach team lead. I work with LSU US, and I help both graduate and undergraduate programs. Hi, my name is Sharika Kelly, and I'm an enrollment coach team lead. Um, I currently work with LSU Alexandria and also um, Public Health of New Orleans. Hi, my name is Avery Mays, and I am an enrollment coach with LSU Main Campus a and um, I specifically work with our Master of Social Work program. Hello, my name is Lance Scott. I am an enrollment coach for the LSU Baton Rouge campus. I mainly work with the undergraduate programs, mainly partner with the Guild students. Thanks, everyone. And here's what we'll be discussing this evening. So, of course, we're going to discuss why LSU Online, our flexibility of online learning, the unmatched student support, the next steps, and then we'll open the floor for the questions and answers with our contact information. So why LSU Online? Uh, I am an LSU Online graduate, so I may be extremely biased when I say this, but there's no place like LSU. So we'll play this video to uh, show a quick overview as to why we're so special. Okay, so a little bit more about why LSU Online. The main thing that we want to drive home to you tonight is that when you graduate with our LSU Online programs, even though everything you do is 100% online and it's 100% asynchronous, you still graduate with the same degree as everyone on the campus with which you're enrolled. So if you are enrolled with the Baton Rouge campus, your degree will say LSU. It will not say LSU Online. If you graduate from one of our other campuses, if it's Shreveport or Alexandria or any of the others, your degree will say LSU Alexandria or LSU Shreveport, whichever campus it is. So you have the same curriculum, you have the same programs, the same faculty, it's the same transcripts, nowhere is it delineated as an online degree. And that's something that we work really hard to keep in place and we're really proud of and something that we think is a great value to our students. Right now, we are sitting at a, just over 8,400 students who have come through LSU online and had their lives changed. Um, these degrees, like I said, are 100% online, and they all bank on that 150 years of academic excellence that LSU provides. Another thing that uh, draws a lot of students to LSU Online 
is that we do not have out-of-state fees. So when you see the, the list of, of what a program costs, that is a flat fee. There are no out-of-state fees. There are no fees for uh, technology or anything else. You're looking at a flat fee. Um, and we have a point of entry for every kind of student out there. If you are just finishing high school and you are looking to get started from the beginning, we've got programs for you. If you have multiple good degrees already and you're looking to further your career for promotion's sake, we have programs for you. We have continuing education programs on the side of that, but we have somewhere for everyone to get started in the LSU system. Um, you would be joining over 250,000 alumni worldwide and be a part of active alumni champ chapters um, around the country and around the globe. So um, there's a place for you to be involved, even if you're in another place and not anywhere near Baton Rouge. One of the things that we offer to our applicants and to our incoming students is the opportunity to transfer credits and learning experience that you've received outside in your careers um, to be used for class credits to get you started off on, you know, already a little bit into a program. Um, those can be things like military trainings, uh, certifications through Amazon, our professional agencies. And there is a whole list and a whole way, a line of ways for you to transfer, not just credits from other universities, but credits for what you've already done in your work career. When we talk about, and we're going to talk about this a lot tonight, our family of institutions, and like Brittany said, when we got in, you're looking at, um, you know, different campuses. So these are a list of our campuses that we support online. Um, LSU, the, the main campus in Baton Rouge. So if you hear of us say of any of those things, that's what we mean. LSU A is our Alexandria campus. LSU E is our Eunice campus. LSU S is our Shreveport campus. And then LSU Health in New Orleans and in Shreveport. Um, so you're looking at, you know, like we said, an entry point for everyone, a place, a program for everyone, and all of the online programs from all of these institutions within the system are housed through LSU Online. So even though we might be talking about a campus, we're still talking about LSU Online and an online degree. So next we'll be talking about the flexibility of online learning. So our courses are designed with you in mind, our student. You are in control of your learning experience, whether you have a busy work life or family schedule. You do not have to log in at a specific time to complete your coursework. While there are weekly deadlines and assignments, there is still the flexibility to complete them on your own schedule. Whether you're looking to transition to a new field or advance in your current career, our courses are designed to help you upskill and learn in-demand skills for the career you, that you want all on your own time. With LSU Online, you can get that promotion, become a leader within your organization, and increase your earning potential for your family, and we'd love it if you'd let us help you accomplish your goals. Something that we do that is unique is our unmatched student support. So everyone on this call is here for you throughout the process, and I will let Jennifer walk you through what our enrollment coaches can do for you. Okay, so when you start off with interest in one of our online programs, you're going to be assigned to an enrollment coach who specializes in that program, in that campus, uh, and the requirements for entering the, the school or the program of your choice. Um, what we'll talk to you about as enrollment coaches will be what the admissions requirements or prerequisites for your program would be, um, what you would be learning in the program, the classes that will be listed for you, and what kind of learning outcomes you're, you're looking to achieve with the program. And we'll talk to you about what it takes to apply, what the requirements are that uh, you need for your application, um, you know, whether it's transcripts from other schools or resumes and things like that, how to work our application portal. That's something we're here to walk you through the whole process of. Um, and then also to get you started on the path towards getting your financial aid in line, you know, whether it's military benefits or if you're filling out a FAFSA, 
and you're looking to do loans or grants, we are here to help you get started in that process so that by the time you're enrolled, you are ready to roll. So what it might look like when you have a call with your enrollment coach for the very first time. Um, these are the things we're going to be looking to talk to you about to get you, again, in the right program, on the right path what your motivation is, what you're looking to get out of a degree. Uh, we do have a lot of degrees and, and there are you know, differences between them. So we wanna know, you know what your motivation for this is so that we can make sure you're on the right path. Um, we'll look at what your academic history looks like. If you're applying to graduate school, we'll look at you know where you did your undergraduate degree. Um, if you are transferring credits from somewhere else, we'll talk about that and what that process looks like. If you're applying straight out of high school, we'll make sure that you know we have an idea of where you were in high school with your credits um, and get those documents started. We'll talk a little bit about payment, like I said, and get you started you know towards you know applications for financial aid. And, you know, if you are working with uh, an employer that helps support your tuition as a benefit, then we'll definitely help you get started in that as well. And then we'll talk to you about our start dates. So we work on terms instead of semesters and our, our terms are essentially half semesters. So we have six start dates a year for most of our programs. And we'll talk to you about which one works best for you and when that application process starts and ends and get you ready for the enrollment process. Sorry, I had problems with the mute. After you're done with the admission process with your enrollment coach and you are officially admitted, you will be assigned a student success coach. Our team serves as support for you while you are a student. So from the time you are admitted until you walk across the stage at graduation, we will be a point of contact for you and the different departments on campus. Since you can't physically be here on campus, we can help get you connected with academic support, technical support. If you're having trouble logging into Moodle or your student email, we will help remind you about registration deadlines and we'll also give you encouragement during finals week. So you've heard a lot from us. So now you can hear a little bit from some of our graduates. I would tell anyone um, considering enrolling in LSU online to do it. There are so many resources out there. You never feel alone. The people were really friendly when I applied. The whole program itself was great. My professors have been wonderful. Like it's been an immediate Okay, you let me know what you need. I have the fulfillment of being a part of organizations on campus. I have been able to join in as a college student. We are just one big family. All right. So looking at what your next steps are from tonight, you are all here because you're interested in one or some of our programs, and we're going to get you set up with how to move forward. Um, once you, you know, figure out the program you want, you're going to go to online.lsu.edu slash application. Um, and from there, with the help of your enrollment coach, uh, definitely you want to speak to your enrollment coach so you make sure all of the ins and outs of that application. You'll submit transcripts, uh, any testing requirements that are um, needed for your programs. Um, you'll submit any other documentation, like I said, resumes or purpose statements and things of that nature. You'll start applying for financial aid, and then you'll wait for your admissions decision, which your, your enrollment coach will help you through the process of and be able to walk you through each step. And here are some important dates and you'll see that the application deadline and start dates vary depending on which campus you're applying. You don't have to worry about memorizing or taking a picture or writing these dates down because you will get a recording of tonight's open house and the PDF of the presentation so that you can refer back. The dates shown are for our fall terms across the campuses, but if you want to see any future terms and dates, you will be able to click the link shown um, at the bottom of the screen here once you receive the copy of the webinar. We're going to start our Q&A in just a second, but we also want to share our contact information. 
the, the 833 number will connect you with anyone on the team. And we're open from 7.30 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And you can also reach out to us via email at lsuonline at lsu.edu or even on the website where you can chat with us. So now we will start taking questions and um, providing some answers. I will want to stress again that when you are asking questions to make sure that you specify what campus so that we can give you the correct information. Okay, so we have our first question. It says, LSU has do they accept any transfer credits for the MHA program? So with LSU Shreveport, it is up to the department if they're going to accept any transfer credits. So I do highly recommend calling an enrollment coach with that 833 phone number where they can give you the specifics. Okay, and we have another question. How do I apply for financial aid as an online grad student? Um, Jennifer, do you want to answer this question? Yeah, so um, when you talk to your enrollment coach, you will get a link to the FAFSA, the Free Application for fin uh, Federal Student Aid. And we will give you the college code of the campus you're applying to so that you will be able to list that institution as your recipient of funds. So that's something that will, that will help you through the process. and just a note for grad students specifically, since you're asking, the federal government only issues loans at the graduate level, so you would not be applying for grants as you could do in undergraduate studies, but we can still help you through that process and get you started. Thank you. And we have another question. Um, the question states, I have a bachelor's degree, but I want to become a teacher. Will the education program allow me to become a teacher or would there be more steps? Um, would someone be able to answer that question? I believe someone, um, a program with the LSU A campus have something similar to that. So, so I can... we... oh. <laughs> Sorry, Sharika, you can go. Um, we don't have any education programs, but we do have like um, the bachelor's in English or history, um, which allows you to teach. But we always tell students to check in whatever state they're in, um, parish, county, to make sure that that's sufficient to be a teacher. But we don't have any um, programs that's just for education unless you're a teacher already. Remy, if you want to try, um, chime in. Yes. So for LSUS, if you're looking to get your master's in one of our education programs, um, similar to as Sharika said, you won't get your teacher certificate through the program. Um, and that that is because, you know, every state has different requirements for their teachers. But I do know that LSUS does have a specific program to kind of point you in the right direction so that you can get your certificate, but you would still also have to go through the master's program as well. Thank you. And we have another question. They're asking, is there a certain GPA to have at the LSU Baton Rouge campus? So Lance, if you want to answer that particular question. Yeah, so as far as GPA goes, we have two requirements. We have as transfer students, you have to have at least a minimum of a 2.5 GPA. Um, first time freshmen, if you're coming in with no college credit courses or the below the minimum, you have to have at least a 3.0 GPA for if you were considered as a first time freshman. Thank you. And I know that was for the um, bachelor's. And because it was not specified, I was just going to kind of cover grad as well. But for the grad programs, usually if you have a 3.0 for your GPA, whether that's the um, overall or in the last 60 credit hours, um, that would meet the um, admissions requirements. 
So again, uh, when we're just asking those questions, let's just uh, specify which program as well so we can make sure that we're answering that question for you correctly. And I see we have a question about the master's in sport management for the Baton Rouge campus. Is there an application fee for all programs or does it depend on the program? So for the main campus specifically, and only for the, the ones out of the Baton Rouge campus, we have an application fee waiver code that waives any fee that you have for applying for undergraduate or graduate programs. That only works for the main campus programs, but if you were interested in that, then I am here to, to help get that code to you and explain how it works in the application portal. Uh, if it's for undergraduate programs, Lance can help you with that, but uh, it is the same code. And I'll just go ahead and give you all that hint right now, but that is apply now, all one word, um, A-P-P-L-Y-N-O-W, no spaces. Thank you. And with our next question, it says, how much do books cost for the program for the LSU Shreveport location? Um, for textbooks, that's really going to depend on which programs you're doing, whether that's undergrad or master's. Um, I can say for a good amount of the master's programs, uh, there's actually free e-textbooks available to you through the school library website. I don't see as many of those books available for you on the undergraduate level, um, but you also don't necessarily have to buy them from our bookstore. If you were to find them somewhere else on Amazon, you'd also it'd be fine for you to buy it from there. So I can't say for sure exactly how much it would cost if you're talking about undergrad courses. Okay, we have a question. Um, they're asking, do transcripts have to be mailed or can they be sent in um, electronically with the application for LSUS? So, so I'm sorry, go ahead, Remy. <laughs> it's okay. Um, they can be mailed physically, um, but there is also a way to submit them electronically. You would mail them to admissions. Um, if you message one of our enrollment coaches tomorrow, they'll actually be able to help you with that. Um, I'm trying to pull up that email address right now, actually. But you would just email it to at admissions at lsus.edu. Thank you. And we have another question from Lily. Um, it states, I am looking into the MSW program. I was wondering if the online program contains at least 12 semester hours of clinical coursework to qualify me for the LCSW exam in the future. Avery, would you like to answer this question? Yes, um, I can give you some general information. So you will be required to complete 12 credit hours of internship. Um, this is going to be over the course of four terms. Um, if you have any specific questions about this, you can actually refer to the Association of Social Work Boards website to see what your state's requirements are for licensure. But if you do have any more specific questions, I would be more than happy to go over that with you. Um, you all my contact information will be on this um, PowerPoint. So just um, email me or give me a call. Thank you. And we have a question from Serena. She's asking for graduate degrees. How many classes is considered part-time versus full-time? Did she specify which campus? No, but I believe it's the same across the board. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I know for sure for the main campus, um, basically um, each program is a little bit different. So you can take, like I said, we work on terms and they're half semester. So you generally take about half the coursework and half the time. And that means for graduate programs, you're either taking one class per term 
or in some cases, you're allowed to take two classes per term. It is very program specific. So please do reach out to me and let me get you information on the specific program. Um, for instance, for social work, you can take two classes at a time. For um, leadership and human resource development and kinesiology, you can take two classes at a time. Now, some of our other programs like library science uh, prefer that you go at a clip of one. Um, I would say the general rate for students who are working full time, which most of our students are, and attending graduate school is one class per term. And there are some programs who do allow for you to double up some of the time and finish a little bit more quickly. So somewhere between one year and two years would be when you would finish. Now, the for financial aid's sake, you need to take at least two classes per full semester. So that would be at least one each term. So if, say in fall, you would need to take at least one in fall one and one in fall two to be considered uh, for financial aid, or you could take two in one of those terms. Hopefully that answers a little bit about full-time and, and part-time because it's a little nuanced. It's different for every program. Thank you. And Lance, this may be a good question for you to answer. It says, for the LSU Baton Rouge, does the university frown upon applicants that receive their GED versus their high school diploma? Does one rank higher than the other for the decision-making process? That's a good question. So no, they do not frown upon anybody who comes in with a GED. So we have a lot of students, especially for me, because I work with undergraduate students who come in with GEDs and our admissions office does accept them in lieu of a high school transcript. So if you do possess one by any chance, you're more than welcome to send that over. Admissions will review you just the same as any one of our other students. <laughs> Thank you. And we have another question for LSU Shreveport MHA program. They're asking the terms are seven weeks. Do the terms vary depending on which program you are applying to? I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? I'm looking for the question. It moved for me. <laughs> so it's saying for the LSU SMHA program, the terms mm -hmm. are seven weeks. So do the terms vary depending on which program you are applying to? No, uh, across the board, it's going to be seven weeks for every single program. Thank you. And we have another uh, MSW question. It says, if I am interested in the MSW accelerated program, could I do that strictly online or would they have to take some face-to-face -face classes? Avery. So if you are um, referring to our advanced standing option that is um, that requires a bachelor's in social work. This will be about half the length, so typically a year or 30 credit hours. Um, that can be completed online as well. So all of those courses are available online. Whenever you're completing your application, just make sure you um, write that there's a box that will click that you are interested in advanced standing. Um, if you have any more questions, once again, feel free to um, call me or email me. Okay, and we have another question. It states, if I have master's degree from foreign university, should they expect, I'm sorry, should they provide English proficiency proof to start the educational program? So with that particular question, we do have different uh, international requirements per campus. So you may want to reach out to that enrollment coach for the particular program that you're interested in. For the um, Baton Rouge campus, that's where um, I work. So I can kind of touch on that portion. And you can correct me if I'm wrong, Jennifer. But um, for the master's level with the English proficiency exams, they, they have some exceptions where you may not have to take it, uh, but we will have to get official documents that have been translated so they can make that uh, determination. Is that correct, Jen? Yes. Okay. Generally, those have to do with uh, how long you may have been working in the States, um, if you completed a different, uh, if you completed a degree at 
an American university um, or if you have some other kind of proficiency that's been completed in the past. Okay, and we have another question. Um, what is the turnaround for an admissions decision? Um, they submitted all of their requirements for fall two for the um, A&M campus. So for our main campus, and again, we, we call that a lot of things. It's it's LSU, but we may say main campus or A&M or um, Baton Rouge campus, just so you know. Uh, I know it gets a little confusing when we all start talking about different campuses and programs. Um, for graduate programs, you're generally looking at about a week um, turnaround. There, some variability to that. Some are a little bit faster. Some only review every couple of weeks. Um, Lance, do you want to answer what that turnaround time looks like for undergrad? Yeah. So generally for undergrad, we generally give it about a two-week window. Now that's, just, like I said, kind of to your point, Jennifer, it just depends on, you know, different factors. If you're coming in with, you know, transfer credits from different institutions, how many you come in with and kind of the time of the year that you're also looking to apply. Close to the deadline time is usually where um, a lot of credits tend to get reviewed as well, too. But generally we give it a two-week window, but there's, like she said, too, there's some variability to that as well. And so please do, if you haven't spoken to an enrollment coach, if it's a graduate program, reach out to me. And if it's a, an undergraduate program, reach out to Lance. We'll make sure all your documents are in, all that you're in the right status for review and that you're on pace to be getting a decision and that there, no one's waiting for anything else from you. So that's really important to factor in. Oh, there you go. And uh, Remy, I know that you're typing this answer out, but this may be a good one to answer live as well. The question states that they are interested in the MBA program at LSUS. Is that a 10 month program? And when is the next enrollment period? So the MBA program at LSUS can be completed in 10 months, but that would require you to take two courses per term or four courses total per session. Um, and it is recommended that you be able to dedicate about 20 hours per week per course. So for some of those courses, especially the few that are very math heavy, that might be a lot to do. And we actually kind of recommend that you don't take two courses during those terms. Um, so technically, yes, it can be completed in 10 months. And the next enrollment period is actually coming up for fall AP2. And that deadline for us is going to be October 2nd. Okay, and we have a question from Kamaya. It says, hi, for LSU Online, I am looking to begin MSW in January 2024. Are there any dates set to where the semester would begin around that time? So our MSW dates are a bit different than um, the other term dates for LSU main campus. Um, spring 1, which starts January 15th, the deadline for applications will be October 16th. So everything that um, is required for the application will need to be submitted at the latest um, by 10 p.m. Um, on Monday, October 16th. Okay, and we have another question about the online MBA program with LSU Shreveport. And they're asking, can they have the employer pay for the program? That's a maybe. Um, so we want to point out a lot of you may have come in with interest for our programs because your employer may have a partnership with LSU or, or through Guild or through some other partnership um, where they automatically will pay for certain programs to certain levels. Um, you would need to make sure that that was the program that was being covered. Um, but if your employer offers tuition reimbursement, um, that's something else that we can work with. Um, generally, you would be paying up front and then you would have the choice whether you wanted to use financial aid to make those upfront payments or if you um, wanted to pay out of pocket and have your employer reimburse you. Um, but we work both with 
reimbursement and with direct pay from, from different companies. So we would just need to make sure you were aligned with the program that either had a partnership or was acceptable to your employer. Okay, and here's another question. It says, LSU Online, I have two bachelor's degrees from another university, but would be entering a new field in the School of Business with an emphasis in human resources. Where would they send their transcripts? So it sounds like that would be for LSU Shreveport, um, just because you said that you would have a concentration in the human resources, and I know that we have that. Um, so for that one, you can email your transcripts to gradadmissions at lsus.edu. So that's G-R-A-D-A-D-M-I-S-S-I-O-N-S -S -S at lsus.edu. Thank you, Remy. And our next question says, how much does the program concentration of the MBA, if they pick any location, narrow down the classes they, that they take and the jobs that they apply to? Jennifer, would you want to answer that particular question? Yes. And um, I'll just go ahead and get to it because we, we haven't really gotten this question directly um, about the differences between the LSU and the LSU-S MBA. Um, just a little bit of how this works. Um, for the main campus, we have one MBA. Uh, it's typically more of an executive MBA, and we have specializations that are offered um, within that degree. Um, the electives are kind of tailorable to make the degree that you're looking to have for yourself that, that benefits you the best. With the programs from LSU Shreveport, I believe that they have 10 MBAs, and they're broken up, broken up externally into concentrations. So they may have an LSU S MBA in human resources um, or in finance or in um, data analytics, whereas within the main campus, we have specializations internally. So when you speak to an enrollment coach, we're going to get you um, an entire page of a breakdown of the cost of your program, the course listings required for your program. So that's really where you're able to go in and see what this is really detailing in your studies. Um, and then you can talk about, you know, what careers people go into from the different fields. But generally, they're a little bit more um, self-explanatory. You know, if you really want to do something with HR, you, you can look at, you know, the MBA HR. If you're looking at, for instance, healthcare administration, the main campus has one um, has a concentration internally. So we just really need to talk to you and find out which one that is so that we can get you the correct information on that specific program. And look, if you reach out to any one of us and it's not the right program, don't worry about that. We will make sure your question gets to the person who is supposed to be answering that question or has the most information. So don't worry about if you, all our information is on that page. But if for some reason you say, I don't know which program I'm talking about, and you reach out to me and it's not one I cover, I promise I will get you to the right person and get you as much information as we can to get you started. Thank you. And with our next one, it says, I'm graduating in December with my master's degree, and I'm interested in the LSU Shreveport EDD Leadership Studies Program. Um, they won't have their final grades until after graduation on December 16th. When is the first available date that they can start the program? So that's one of our most competitive programs. It actually starts twice a year, so it's not as many as the other programs. But with the um, next start date that would uh, work for you, it may be our spring term where the classes start January 15th. So I highly recommend, I know Ben, he couldn't make it this evening, but if you reach out to him with that contact information shown on the screen, he will be able to give you uh, more specific details. But uh, the spring term would be the best time after that December um, 16th date that you gave.
And our next question states, if I chose the Flores MBA, how much does the networking they market help students and impact future jobs? What is the average salary y'all see after graduation, hiring percentages, and how much do the networkers truly help students? Okay. Um, so when you are enrolled in our programs, you have all the resources of an LSU student on campus. And one of the things that we really pride ourselves on um, in each of our campuses, and I can speak specifically to the main campus, is our career center. So LSU has an award-winning career center. And on top of just the work that you'll do with your faculty um, and, you know, with networking events that are specific to the business college, you will also have access to our career center forever. So that's their database of jobs. That is, you know, employment help, job fairs, virtual and in person. Um, so you really have access to that. And I do know in that program specifically that the faculty and, and the classes themselves institute different ways for you to start that networking immediately. You'll also be a part of the LSU alumni network. Um, so you have that networking availability, um, which can be done, um, you know, through, you know, using the LSU alumni uh, networking websites, but also locally. So that's something we didn't really talk about too much yet tonight, but each of our um LSU alumni chapters all over the country are very active. They have several events per year. They have networking events. Um, they're, you're going to be part of the LSU network uh, for alumni, the SEC network for alumni. Um, I lived in Chicago for a while and I was active with all of those. And, and there really were networking events, social events, and all of that kind of thing. So um, even if you live somewhere else, there's something physically for you to do but you will also have not just the faculty, but the career center to be able to assist you with all of those things that you're asking about. Uh, and I didn't answer all of that, I realize. Um, we don't have right this second average salary and, and hiring percentages. Um, what I do have is contact information for the College of Business, where you can get a little bit more information on that. So if you reach out to me, I can set you up with some people who have a little bit better line on some of that information. And here's another question that you may be able to answer because of the program is with the uh, Baton Rouge campus. It says, I have a Bachelor's of Fine Arts concentration in ceramics from 2013. I am looking at your MLIS. Would they be an eligible candidate despite having such a different background? Absolutely. So we have, especially in the MLIS program, we have people coming from all different backgrounds, um, from education, from English, from uh, accounting, it just it just varies. So people people uh, seem to find that passion maybe a little bit later in life and come in from all places. There are no prerequisites as far as bachelor's degrees or any coursework for that program. Um, there are some of our programs that do require that you've taken certain classes or graduated with certain degrees for entry into graduate programs. But for the very most part, the bachelor's is what's important and the GPA. So we have people going into sport management who did psychology or who did education. Um, so there are a lot of programs where you it's not necessarily a transition from, I got this undergraduate degree and I need to get this master's degree. Um, there are a few, civil engineering uh, is very um, picky about you know what, what classes you took and generally you're looking for people with degrees. So some of the more specialized degrees um, can be that way. Um, but others, there may be some leveling coursework or some prerequisites, but for the most part, you're looking at kind of starting fresh. And a lot of people choose to do that pivot um, with their master's degree. Okay, and I can take this next one. It says, I've been accepted into the Baton Rouge campus for higher education administration, but they're still waiting to receive their login information. And how long does that take? So usually it takes three days for all of the systems to generate and populate your LSU credentials. So if it's within that time frame, um, you should receive um, that via email. 
Um, however, if it has been longer, I do recommend for you to reach out to your enrollment coach so that they can uh, provide additional support to get that information to you. And I also want to note, um, I'm getting notifications that you guys are raising your hands. Unfortunately, we're not able to um, answer that way. So if you do have any specific questions that we have not um, addressed, please type it into the um, question box that's below on your screen. Okay, and this question says, is there a way to lock in tuition price if you apply it now, but want to start in January for the master's in healthcare management? So um, I'll take this one. We, uh, I wanna, there is no way to lock in a price. However, I do want to let you know uh, a little bit about the history of, of our pricing. And, and like we said before, it is a flat rate. Um, we have been, online with a lot of our programs for about seven years. Uh, we just in that time had our first increase in um, three of the graduate programs and, and a couple of the undergraduate programs. So while we can't say that your price will be locked in, we can say that tuition increases are, are very rare and very strategic. So we don't want you to worry that every semester or every term that we're, we're raising those prices. So uh, while that always could be a possibility that your price will, in will increase while you're in the program, you will be given warning. Um, and like I said, it's not something that just happens, um, you know, every few months. Okay, and the next question states, do you accept transfer credits from Coursera, CLEP, or similar programs? So I know with Coursera, we are building that partnership with LSU Online, um, I believe for our graduate programs. So that is a possibility as well as CLEP. Um, but I highly recommend reaching out to the enrollment coach for that specific program just to be sure because those uh, programs are program specific as well. So I know for the MBA programs with Coursera, that's a, um, a possibility, but uh, just reach out to that enrollment coach so we can get that correct information to you. And Avery, we have another social work question. It says, for the MSW program, would I be allowed to complete my internship at the mental health agency that their co-founder and COO of? So that is very dependent. Um, it would have to be approved by the School of Social Work and the Field Education Department. So, um, you would need to get in touch with them and I can go ahead and message you um, some further information about that. Um, typically it's not an issue as long as it is under a licensed social worker um, and you are getting the required hours which need to be um, during fully operational hours. And so that would be Monday through Friday, eight to five. Um, there is an option to do five days a week or two days a week. Uh, but once again, I will uh, send you that information. I'll go ahead and post a link to a video as well that Tracy Lilly, the director of field education, put together that goes over some frequently asked questions. So go ahead and you can look over that. Thank you. And our next question says, is there an expiration on previous acquired credits? Um, they graduated with the MS and BS in biology in 2013 and 2015, and they're interested in the BS in computer science. So with the master's degree, with 
those particular credits there or some sort of an expiration, I will say that um, usually five years is um, that cutoff time. However, there are some workarounds for that as well. <laughs> and it does depend on the campus. For the bachelor's credits, uh, there is no expiration for it. So that would be fine. And plus, if you are interested in that bachelor's, it does help because that covers some of the general ed courses too. So you really would be focusing more on the computer science specific courses. So um, highly again recommend reaching out to that enrollment coach to get more specific details um, but you will not have to really worry about starting that program from scratch and lance if you would want to answer this particular question it says is a course equivalent to a term yeah so yeah when we refer to term sessions we're referring to the period of time in which you are enrolled for your coursework so if you look at our start dates we have different terms that go from fall one fall two spring one spring two so on and so forth when you're referring to the course you just actually refer to the actual class that you are enrolled for that and for that particular term so it's generally it's not equivalent to each other And our next question, is there a benefit of going to the main campus versus the family of institutions? I think I think we can all chime in on this one a little bit. Um, usually when we have someone here from the Shreveport campus, um, we talk about that. But um, what we talked about in the beginning, that there's a place for everyone, um, that is really something that we stand behind. And when you talk to an enrollment coach, we and even our coordinators who schedule you with your enrollment coaches, they're trying to get an idea of what you're looking to get out of a specific degree. Um, and so with the MBAs for Shreveport and, and the main campus, for instance, you know, we like to ask you a lot of questions about what, what you need out of a program. And, you know, if you're looking to get, you know, that recognition of being at the main campus, being LSU, um, you are getting the resources of being an LSU student. So that includes things like our career center. That includes the networking opportunities that, that we talked about earlier. And one of the other questions, um, you know, you have the resources of that school, but if you're enrolled at one of our other schools, you have the resources of that school. So it's kind of what you're looking to get with the Shreveport MBA, if your driving factors in getting an MBA are time to completion and or cost, you cannot do better than the LSU Shreveport MBA and we'll probably steer you in that direction. Um, if you've been working for a while and you're looking to get an executive MBA and, and move up in the field, then, you know, if, depending on if, if money is um, going to, to be a factor or not, we'll, we'll try to get you into the LSU program because you know, a lot of times that's geared more towards students who have already been working for a while, whereas students who may have been working for a little less time, maybe Shreveport's a better fit for them. Um, and maybe they're trying to get out as quickly as possible and, and don't have an employer paying for them yet. So that cost, that price point is, is a lot more uh, of a fit for them. So really, when we're looking at, you know, whether it is, you know, looking at the main campus programs for undergraduate, or the programs available at Alexandria or Eunice, it's a really about what you are looking for. We have different programs from every place. So we really want to make sure you get that right fit and that you're finding the place that is right for you as far as what you're bringing in with your um, requirements and, and your test scores and your GPA, um, what you're looking to spend and which programs you would like to study. So that's, that's why we have all these questions. That's why we talk to you and, and make sure we, you know, get you all the information on all the programs that might be of interest to you so you can make that decision in an informed way. And I'll take this next question from Serena. It says, can I have the information for the enrollment coach for the LSU Baton Rouge Master of Science in Leadership and Human Resource Development? Uh, Serena, I highly recommend that you reach out to Jennifer Christina for that because not only is she the enrollment coach for it, but she's also a student. So she can give you a very unique and special perspective of what to expect when enrolling for that program.
And our next question says, LSU Shreveport MBA Accounting, is there a way to find out which courses will require a purchase textbook upfront cost for books? Not necessarily, just because um, each course has different professors and different, different professors want different textbooks, and that can change term by term. There might be a new edition that they like more, and, you know, they might switch. So I can't say for sure. These courses will always have a free textbook. These courses won't. Um, yeah, I, I don't have a definite answer for that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, that works for me. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And with our last question, because we are coming close to the end of time, um, is for you, Avery, it's a social work question. It says, how much do you think it would cost to get an advanced standing master's in social work? Um, they will be graduating in May with their BSW. So our overall cost, it's $599 per credit hour. And like we talked about earlier, um, that is a total for every hour. There's no additional fees on top of that. So given that um, advanced standing is roughly 30 credit hours, 30 to 33 credit hours, whereas the standard track is 60. So it's about half. So advanced standing is going to be roughly $20,000, um, closer to $19,000. So just do the math there. It's $599 times 30 or 33. Um, the difference between that would be a prerequisite course called differential diagnosis, which is um, required for the advanced classes in the second year. It's offered in some bachelor's of social work programs, but not all. So if, that, if you have not taken it, you would have to take it your first year um, with us in, in the MSW program. But that's it um, for that. We want to uh, thank you guys again for joining us for our virtual open house this evening. Um, you all asked some wonderful questions, gave us some really great engagement. If we were not able to get to your questions or if you have any additional questions, uh, please reach out to any enrollment coach with the information seen on your screen. But again, thank you so much and I hope you have a great evening.